here with Mr. Clyde uh, and his Clyde Garden Planner. Uh, we actually looked at this yesterday and said something about our live stream. Uh, so we came back so that Mr. Clyde here can show us how it works. And we are also going to purchase some more to give away to you guys. Yeah, I'll be glad to show you how it works. So, first of all, it's got a red frost line on it. And you slide that to, to your local frost date wherever you live. Okay. Once it's in place, each column here is a week and it gives you the first outdoor planting date for each garden vegetable. Starting with the cold crops like peas and spinach, they plant ahead of the frost, but waiting on the tender crops like peppers and tomatoes until it's safe to put them out. And that's after the frost free date, which is usually about four weeks after the average. The indoor seeding dates are also marked so you know when to put your flats out in the house so they'll be ready to go out later. And the green check marks give you the expected harvest dates so you can kind of plan if you're going to do a vacation or a trip. Uh, they help you know when you're going to get your fruit. And it's just so nice to be able to see it all at one time, the whole progress. And you work the chart from left to right when you're doing your planting. You pull it open and it gives you the quantity of seed, planting depth, distance between rows, distance between plants, sunlight requirements, and that's so you don't get them too congested. And in case you have some shaded areas where you want to grow things, these things grow good in partial sun. Minimum soil temperature, go to Walmart, get you a, a inexpensive um, thermometer, and then test the soil so that you're not putting it in when it's too cold, they don't germinate, and you waste your seed. Uh, it also gives you the typical yield, like the pounds of green beans per 10 foot row, and the natural companions for companion planting. And that's where if you put them close together, the roots nourish one another. That's what companion planting is all about. This is the spring side of the chart. You want to do a fall garden, you flip it over and slide it to your fall frost stage. Last planting week to have a nice fall garden. And the chart comes with uh, it comes with instructions. And on the back of the instructions are the frost dates for the United States and Canada. So you just look up a city near you, and it's not rocket science. You just get close to it. You're on track for your area. And now uh, we sell the chart online for five dollars, and uh, I also have lots of other helpful gardening information, like little bullets. Like, did you know you should do your rows from north to south to prevent shading? And uh, be sure you get a, a soil test done so that if your soil is lacking something, you're, you know what it's lacking, and you can add it. Things like that. Okay, and also if you don't win one or you don't purchase one online, they will be set up at the Baker Creek uh, events in both March and May. So if you're at the Baker Creek events, you can pick them up then.